Looking at zero operations, we're going to apply these particular operations which are negative, positive. We have multiplication and division to two numbers where one of the numbers is zero and we're going to see how this impacts the results that we get when we apply these rules in here. And here is where A is any number on a number line and we see a couple of results that comes into play where A plus 0 will give us A, A minus 0 gives us A, A times 0 gives us 0 and A divided by 0 which can also be rewritten as A over 0 is what? undefined and this here is truly fascinating because majority of the students usually misunderstand what this means in terms of how the placement works now let's look at another order by which these zeros is positioned relative to a using the operations on the other hand where zero is added to a what we have is of course a positive value a but next is where we have a 0 minus a value a. This results in the value here to be negative a. And we have 0 times a. This gives us 0. And finally, 0 divided by a, which is the same thing as saying that we have a total number of individuals in a system and we are dividing them into any number of groups, which means that we are not going to make any groups in here as a result of this it will just remain how it was without a group and so that is zero and that is what makes this last particular operation unique where the first operation here which results in an undefined state where we have a number of items and we are creating zero groups members in a group that means we're going to have an undefined number of groups so that means as the number of a increases it means that we're going to head to an undefined result which is infinity in this particular case over here in here we have two examples where the first one here says that six times parenthesis negative six plus zero all over 4 and we are asked to solve this what we recognize is by using of course out of operations we're going to be doing the parenthesis first which means that we have r6 to be multiplied by negative 6 plus 0 which gives us negative 6 and this here is over 4 therefore we're going to have this to be equal to 6 which is a positive value times a negative value which gives us negative 6 times 6 is 36 and this is divided by 4 therefore it means that since we have a negative divided by positive that gives us a negative value and 36 divided by 4 gives us 9 and that is our answer for A this here is going to be different from B where we have 7 times all parentheses 3 minus 3 all divided by 0 divided by 4 times 6 we have two parentheses here by using orders of operations and we're going to solve those first which results in 7 times 3 minus 3 which gives us 0 all over we have 0 divided by 4 which is the same thing as saying 0 over 4 which means that we are going to create zero groups that are formed here. Therefore, we have a zero value here times six. Now, this here is a special case here where we have seven times zero, which gives us zero over. We have zero times six, which is zero. This here implies that we have an indeterminate that is created right here which comes from the idea that where we have 0 over 0 to be undetermined it means that initially this is similar to where we have 
our multiplication form where if we have 0 over 0 to be for example equal to b this means that yes our 0 is equal to 0 times b but in this case here we don't know what b is specifically therefore this is how it works when it comes to indeterminate and how this here is different from our undefined state here.